Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Before watching this video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Today, I want to tell about the news of cryptocurrency. The merge top 10 misconception about the anticipated Ethereum upgrade. Clear the frog around the most significant upgrade in the history of Ethereum, the merge. Here are five misconceptions that stand out among the rest. The excitement around Ethereum's upcoming upcoming upgrade, the merge, which involves the emergence of two blockchains, mainnet Ethereum and Beacon Chain, has unknowingly spurred rumors across the community. Term the most significant upgrade in the history of Ethereum, the merge that indeed marked the end of proof of work or POA POW. For the Ethereum blockchains, however, here are five misconceptions that stand out among the rest. First misconception is about Ethereum gas fees will reduce after the mess the merge. Ethereum impending upgrade will reduce Ethereum's famous gas fees. Transaction fees is one of the biggest misconceptions circulating among investors. Why reduce gas fees? Top very investor risk list. The merge is a chance of conscious mechanism that will transition the Ethereum blockchain from PO to proof of stakes or POS. Instead, lowering, lowering gas fees in Ethereum will require working on expanding the network capacity throughput. The developer community is currently working on a roll-up centric roadmap to make transactions cheaper. The second misconception is Ethereum transaction will be faster after the merge. It is safe to assume that Ethereum transaction will not be noticeably faster. However, there is some truth to this rumor. As beacon chains allow validators to publish a plug every 12 seconds, which on the mainnet is roughly 13.3 seconds. While Ethereum developers believe that transactions Transitioning to post will enable a 10% increase in block predictions. The slight improvement will go unnoticed by users. Misconception number three is the merge will result in downtime of Ethereum blockchains. Contrasting the misconceptions that envision positive outcomes for Ethereum from the merge, a popular rumor suggests that the planned upgrade will momentarily take down the Ethereum blockchains. The developers anticipate no downtime as blocks transition from being built using PO to being built as using POS. Misconception 4 Investors will be able to withdraw stake ETH after the merge. Stake ETH or STETH, cryptocurrencies picked one by one by Ether or ETH currently lies locked on the beacon chain. While users would love to be able to withdraw their STH ETH. Holding the developer community has confirmed that the upgrade does not facilitate this charge. This charge, this chance. Withdrawal of STATH holding will be made available during the next major upgrade after the merge known as the Shanghai upgrade. As a result, the asset will remain locked and illiquid for at least. 6 until 12 months after the merger. Misconception number 5 Validators will not be able to withdraw ETS reward till the Sanghei upgrade. 
while STETH remain blocked for investor until withdrawal are resumed following the Shanghai upgrade, validators will have immediate <coughs> access to the fee reward. <coughs> And maximal extractable value or MEV earned during block proposal from the execution layer or Ethereum mainnet. As the V compensation will not newly issue token, it will be available to the validator immediately. Sharing his take on Ethereum's untapped potential Polygon co-founder Mihailo Bjelic told Cointelegraph that ZKEVM rollups, a new scaling solution for Ethereum, will allow the smart contract protocol to outpace Visa in terms of transaction throughput. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. See you guys.